every time we start a video, you have your phone out. It's a really bad habit. Or I'm drinking a coffee. I'm full of bad habits. I bet you do it. Good morning, party people. Welcome to the breakdown. We are checking out Ed Sheeran's <laughs> new video, Bad Habits. We've had never done Ed Sheeran on the channel before. Because he took a year off. That's why. Oh, yeah. We've only been doing this six months. Yes. So Ed Sheeran took a full year off, took a hiatus, took a break. He's back with a brand new track, Bad Habits. We've not listened to it yet. We're going to jump straight into it. We'll have a discussion after. But before we do, if you guys want to subscribe, that would be so rad. Yeah, we, we are loving watching those numbers go up. So thanks to everybody who is giving us their time on all of these videos. We love you. Y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Three, two, one. Yeah, I can see that a little bit. The heavy eye makeup and mm, like the wild hair. And the hair, yeah. yeah. Different for him though. Clothes. And tonight had something wonderful. My bad habits lead to late nights and then alone. Conversations with a stranger I barely know. Swearing this will be the last, but it probably won't. I got nothing left to lose or you. I did not expect this. No, not at all. No, that's catchy. I'm just I mean, used to him being like acoustic. Yeah, sort of all driven. real guitar driven, but catchy, cool. Very Loving catchy. the makeup, the look of this is really Everything cool. about this clip is super vibrant. I'm just waiting for all the Ron Weasley wizard flying jokes <laughs> to come through. What? Yeah, because he looks like the dude from Harry Potter, Ron Weasley. Because he has red hair. Yeah. Sorry about Johnny. <laughs> Just give me a vibe of the Lost Boys. Yeah. You know, like when they're all like more... in the gang, they're all vampires, like kind of running the mark in their gang. Obviously a bit more like Fabulous. positive vibes. Yeah. But yeah, reminds me of that. My bad habits get to you. Every pure intention ends when the good times start. This song kind of gives me a Maroon 5 vibe. Gives me like a Calvin Harris vibe. Oh, like yeah. Earlier Calvin Harris. Um, this whole scene reminds me of The Matrix. We have like all oh, the yeah. Agent Smiths just like yeah. fighting in. Everyone's just flying around. Yeah. So good. It's well done. Now, my bad habits need 
to late nights sending alone conversations with a stranger I barely know swearing this will be the last but it probably won't I got nothing left to lose or use or do my bad habits lead to I hate ice Let me just start by saying that film clip was absolutely incredible. When it first kicked off, it had like on the like special effects by, and because it was just like the words pop up on the screen, I was like, oh, it's interesting. They're like calling out special effects for words being on screen, and then but you see that, and it's like a full blown production. Yeah, yeah, that was really cool. I thought that was a super catchy song. It was a very catchy song, extremely catchy. It's not my. I don't enjoy that sort of music. Um, his vocals are great. I, I do prefer him as an acoustic sort of artist. I, I think he's really special in that sense. But just musically, just that sort of dance vibe just doesn't do it for me. But I liked it. I'll be adding that to my Not So Guilty Pleasures playlist, which you can check out in the description down below. I thought that was fun. I think it was definitely fun. Yeah. You can hear as well, though, that how you would strip that back to make that just a guitar, like guitar well, it had that, slap. Yeah, it had that guitar behind it. Yeah, thing 100%. The moments where it pulled back, I, I, I quite enjoyed. But yeah, that... It's very catchy. It's going to do well. It's Ed Sheeran. I love the way he his vocal melodies are so unique and so different. That yeah, like that, that's in a chorus lead up. That's not something you would normally hear in that sort of like structure, which I think he does very differently to anyone else. I will say I really did like when the the chorus kicked in. Um, in that song, how it basically pulled all the other elements out, and it was just yeah. essentially just the bass, yeah, just for sure. the driving bass. That was that was really cool. It gave it it gave it a lot of sort of um, gave it a lot of effect. Uh, it suited the song really well. It's not a bad song. I don't dislike the song. It's just musically, I just don't connect with that style of music in an instrumental sense. Yeah, for sure. Um, um, f- film clip was that was also sick. It was so entertaining. It was so great. Yeah, it was I, so great. He was actually rocking that pink suit. I would love to see that. Yeah, life. for sure. That looked sick. Yeah. I mean, like, even like the, the makeup and the eyes and stuff. Like they've done the special effects to make his eyes that vibrant blue. Mm. But I think the whole thing just looked really, really cool. It was a, a unique look and something that you haven't really seen him do before. Which yeah, for sure. I love p- seeing people mix it up. So, Oh, absolutely. I think it's great that he's branched out and done a little bit of a different sound because he has essentially done the sort of the same thing for quite a while now. So you're um, saying he's boring? No, I'm, I'm saying so he's... so sorry about Johnny. Sorry, Ed. I think you're exciting, mate. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> you're definitely going to watch this and you definitely care. Um, the colours throughout that whole clip was so vibrant. Everything popped. Um, I thought that was a banger. Johnny is on the fence. What did you guys think? Comment below. Let us know your thoughts. I'm definitely interested to hear what you think of this kind of newer sound for Ed Sheeran. For sure. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.